The Baltimore Ravens just signed Roquan Smith to a $100 million deal with $60 million guaranteed. You told me and Matt Mitchell that before we came on the air. Obviously, as a Bears fan, I loved Roquan Smith. Didn't hate that they didn't re-sign him. Uh, but this Ravens defense, since he joined, has been unbelievable. Uh, and here's a few stats that Evan Abrams sent me that I read on uh, Green Dot Daily. I say read because it's basically what I did. Read on Green Dot Daily, our daily show, Action Network app, Action Network, Action Network HQ. First nine weeks of the season before Roquan Smith joined the Baltimore Ravens on October 31st, Ravens were 10th in DVOA against the pass after 7th. Ravens have allowed 132 total points since week nine. Uh, the first Roquan game, second fewest in the NFL, San Francisco, just eight passing touchdowns. And since week nine, allowing Patrick Queen to move over and get into a different position, three sacks amongst linebackers, that's fourth, and Queen and Roquan together, 19 QB pressures since week nine, third most amongst linebacker duos. Um, also, their DVOA against the versus the rush improved from 20th to third. So, um, you know, I love the Ravens defense. If I can get anyone other than Anthony Brown, it's hard not to play them against the Bengals. Yeah, and I, I, I'm I, completely throwing out the last game. It was an, a matchup where both these teams knew they were going to play each other. I feel like the, the the Ravens kind of fell on their sword where it's like we're playing our third stringer quarterback here. Like we're not going to beat a fully healthy Bengals team. But the game they did play earlier this year, obviously it's different because Lamar played in it. It was a 1917 absolute battle. And it's just a back and forth, slug it out fest. That's exactly what we're going to get here, people. And that's what's hilarious. All the money, all the bets are pouring on the Bengals. That is so risky to me. So risky. This This matchup, screams trap everything about it is a trap line uh the fact that the bookmakers hung it they literally hung it sunday without knowing any information on lamar they hung a six pros came in i know a couple of really smart guys that came in took it up because they were like this is going to run up to seven and a half eight and they didn't it moved to half a point they moved to six and a half and it's just been sitting there for almost 72 hours now so you you better really do some soul searching if you listen to this show and you instantly bet that Bengals team. You should know better. Uh, this, this this one of those lines we don't do here. And Chad nailed it. It's going to be a defensive battle. Not enough people are realizing that the, the Bengals have lost key guys on that offensive line. That's going to be a big deal against a really, really tough front that this Ravens runs out there. So looking at this matchup, go ahead. Tease, tease Cincy. I, think, I still think Cincy wins. I think they advance. But I think this is going to be a three-point game. The fact that it's six and a half makes the books tell me it's going to be a six-pointer. Maybe it goes to overtime. Whatever it is, the books are really staunch on their belief. The, the Bengals will win, but they will win this game by six. Please, everyone come in and bet this Bengals team at six and a half. So um, interesting move by the bookmakers. Uh, Fading my own model as well. My model has this at seven. So that means the, the value right now is on the Bengals. I just do not trust it. It feels like a, an incredible trap line and a really tough, AFC North division that's just always a battle, especially in the playoffs. I love it. I love it, Chad. This um, this to me should be our Foxwell. How do you feel about it? I love it. Love it. Love it. Want some more of it. Was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> um, yes. Ravens plus six and a half. And I will say, like Pro's line by far, pro's line of the week. It's truly only pros are betting this Ravens. The pros in the books. That's who needs the Ravens. Yeah, and I feel like it stays the same if it's uh, Tyler Huntley. 100%. I feel like it moves up if it's Anthony Brown, and then I'd probably stay away, and it goes if down it's, if it's Lamar Jackson. If it's Anthony Brown, it's the same thing we did last week when Nathan Peterman was named the starter against the Vikings. You buy out of your position. If it, even if it's a shit number, you buy out of your position. Just get peace of mind. Yeah, so it would be brutal, obviously, if you lose both. I don't, I can't see that happening with that kid, so – um, to me, turn on turn on your alerts with Twitter, whoever you follow that gives you your NFL update news. That would be a big deal if it's not Lamar, if it's not Huntley, if it's if it's a third stringer, that that would be pretty terrifying. But I honestly would probably let it ride. I probably wouldn't buy out my position. I'll just hit 
I'll just hit the Ravens if they get up to 10. I'm just – it's whatever to me at this point. I just believe in – what Chad just talked about. I just believe in this defense. I believe in their run game, the coaching, everything with the Ravens. I just love this spot for this team. This is one of those where I'm going to dig in, and I'll bet it all week most likely. Um, but like Chad just said, I'm not going to bet too much yet because I really want to know what's going on the quarterback position. We're – on a Tuesday, we will know for sure – by Thursday or midday Friday, if Lamar is going to play. If he does not practice today, tomorrow, Thursday, it's a done deal. I just don't see Harbaugh letting him do a walk through Friday and then playing in this game. So um, wait and see if you like. I just grabbed the six and a half to be safe in case it was Lamar and this drops down to six. 